Let's be honest, quiz videos are everywhere and they rack up millions of views. You can easily create these viral quiz videos using Canva and ChatGPT. In this video, I'll walk you through the entire process step by step. So by the end, you'll be ready to drop your own quiz video on YouTube. Let's get into it. Open ChatGPT. I've asked it with a simple prompt to give me 25 questions and answers in a table format like this. Now copy everything and paste it into a Google Sheet and save it as a CSV file for later. Next, go to Canva and create a design. Choose the YouTube template or presentation format. You can choose a solid color or a spiral background from the Elements tab, or even an abstract video background like I have. I'm going to slow down the playback a bit because the animations are too fast and then just delete the extra video time. I think 20 seconds is enough. You can even make it shorter. Now add your text for the numbers, questions, and answers. Then add a frame from the Elements tab for the picture. Next, add a timer. You can choose anyone that you like. I'm going for the loading bar timer. I'm just going to resize it to get rid of the purple so only the green part shows. Then I'm going to round the corners all the way to 100 to get rid of any extra colors. You can position the timer at the bottom or on the side, just rotate the bar and adjust it to fit the page. Now change your font and size for the text. Go to your Google Doc to start with your first question. Search for the picture in the Elements tab and drag it into your frame. Add the options and answers and resize so everything fits. Let's make the page look a bit better, add a circle shape and change the color and adjust the border thickness for your numbers and answer options. Select the circle and number and group them together. Go to animations at the top and choose block for the question and pop for the number. Select the number and question and group them together. Now let's move on to the answers, add a circle and do the same like we did for the number. Then add a square and position it on the first answer. Go to layers to move it behind the circle. I'm gonna separate this and add the A to the circle and the answer option in the square. Select both and group them together. Now do the same for the other options. Okay, once that is done, you can add effects to make your text stand out. If you're using white or a lighter color, next, we can start adjusting the timer and labels at the bottom. I'll set the timer to start after five seconds. Just drag it to where you want it. Do the same for the question and answer options. Play it back to see where you need to adjust anything. All right. Let's add animations to the picture and the answers. Click at the top and choose baseline and pop.
Moving on, you can either duplicate the first page or you can bulk create. On the left panel, click Bulk Create. Choose Upload Data and upload your file you saved earlier. You're gonna have to ungroup the selection for this step, click on the number, then the three dots and choose Connect Data. Then click on Number. Do the same for the question. Click on the question, then the three dots and then Connect Data, then click Question. It will be purple and show the label at the top if you did it correctly. Now do the same for the others. When you're done, click on Continue, then generate designs and wait a few seconds. And like that, you've created all your 25 pages for your quiz in seconds. Just a correction, I noticed afterwards I'm doing this in real time, so I don't want to redo that part. But when connecting the data, choose the answer option instead of the letter if you have them separated like I have. Now you can go through your quiz and change the pictures and adjust the text in case it overlaps. You can also add sound effects from the Elements tab under Audio, like the time running out or background music. Or you can head over to Eleven Labs for a voiceover. Just sign up for an account if you don't already have one. You get 10,000 free credits, then go to the voice library and listen to a few before you choose one that you like. Add it to your voices and test it out. If you're happy, download and add it to your quiz. Then adjust it on the timeline below and add the final touches. Let's see how the final product turned out. What is the capital of France? And that's how you can make viral YouTube quiz videos. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more.